This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. 6.24 is the time. If you're someone that takes vitamin D hoping to prevent a future heart event, you may be wasting your time. That's according to a new study. So joining us this morning to explain is someone who knows a thing or two, Baptist Health cardiologist, Dr. Scott Davis. Thank you so much for coming in, Dr. Davis. I don't know if I know a thing or two. You know I'm probably about <laughs> a thing of a million compared to me. And uh, compared to a lot of people, you study studies I know are something you're really passionate about because right. it really it takes a, a large group, mostly, yep. Yep. of people, and it compares them as opposed to people who take placebo. So we really right. get maybe a more... I guess, accurate statement, at least in some of these studies, on what we can expect for certain things. So vitamin D yeah. was a new one. What'd you find? Yeah, what, so, what was so found? all right, let's, let's back up. So uh, observationally, okay, vitamin D has been prescribed a lot recently, especially by our primary care doctors, for supplementation for people that have low vitamin D levels. And there have been some observations that looking at, you know, uh, low vitamin D levels and the risk for heart disease, heart attack, stroke, uh, cardiovascular death. Mm -hmm. um, but there's been limited data as far as looking at it in a randomized way. And we're going to talk about the difference here in just a second because it's important that folks understand that. Yeah. But what was uh, shown in this particular study that came out in JAMA Cardiology uh, looked at 21 different studies. It's called a meta-analysis where you go back and you look at uh, a, a large number of studies, 21 studies looking at over 80,000 people, and there was no distinct benefit at all, no, no benefit between 41,000 people that got that receive vitamin D supplement and 41,000 people that got a placebo okay. as far as improving their cardiovascular risk. Now, let me make a big disclaimer so that, that this, this, this has some perspective. Yeah. This is not to say it had, you should stop taking vitamin D without talking to your doctor. And certainly this has no impact in people that have uh, vitamin D supplements for osteoporosis, osteomalacia, you know, chronic kidney disease issues. It's totally separate We're category. Talking heart but only here. Talking heart prevention yes. only yeah. and just, hey, I'm taking vitamin D to, quote, help my heart. And okay. so what it, what it does is it begs a few issues to, to be addressed. Number one, like we always say, w whenever we do a retrospective meta-analysis like this, it does beg more research to look at distinct all right, let's, let's randomize a group of people to vitamin D mm -hmm. and the supplement moving forward into a control, of, like a, a placebo, and let's then measure that, see how well it affects them one uh -huh. way or the other. It also then begs the whole thing to discuss about observational studies, okay? And why is that significant? Well, it's kind of like you saying, okay, uh, when I go outside with my ice cream cone, it melts. So there, that then you do you make the next step. Said every time I go outside with my ice cream cone, it should melt. Uh -huh. Well, that doesn't that doesn't always add up. If I live in Anchorage, Alaska, <laughs> and it's you know 30 degrees outside yeah. all the time, that doesn't add up. So then you've got to say, okay, what are the fact? What is causing? Because that's the thing. We observe something, and we got to translate that into is there a cause? And so that's this is a perfect example of observational study versus doing a randomized study. And okay. so uh, based on these data, we can say, all right, there's some concern about, are you even getting benefit from vitamin D supplement just for your heart? Probably not, but then we're going to do the next step on our side, on the research side, and then do some more research into it. All right, always appreciate you stopping by explaining yeah, what these mean to us, yeah. Dr. Davis. You can always contact the Baptist Health Healthline anytime on your screen. Go to baptist-health.com for more resources.